Sean Dyche has given his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's trip to the Emirates on Saturday to face Arsenal. Uh, the manager of, was reacting to Everton's Merseyside derby game being called off last week, given his team the break of 10 days before this Arsenal fixture. Uh, in that time, Everton played a bounce game at Finch Farm rather, against Mansfield Town. Some Everton players took part in that. This is what the manager had to say about that. Yeah, and a few played in the game the other day, um, five or six, or I think it was five actually. It was shame was playing some minutes, and Brozier and Youssef going well, and Pato and um, Jake played as well. So a number of bodies out there. So that was good. Um, the game wise, you know, obviously we wanted to play the game, um, but safety obviously had to play its part. And you know, I was here in the morning. The wind was horrendous, to be honest. So yeah, they had to call it. So that was a, a blow for everyone. I think. Good to see those players getting some more minutes as well. Um, obviously, people like Breuer, who did come on against Wolves, getting the chance to, to get out and about on a pitch as well. Uh, Yusuf Chimiti as well, of course. Still unclear whether or not he will be part of the squad for Saturday. The under-21s do have a game on Monday night, and there has been some suggestion that he may take part in that one. We'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, two players who aren't back yet. It is Tim Irabunum and James Garner. Sean Dykes was asked where they are in terms of their rehabilitation. This was the manager's answer. Yeah, Keenan has come through his. Um, he was, to be honest, he, he was touch and go to be involved the last game, but we felt it was probable that he didn't get involved in that. But he's been working hard. Tim's uh, a bit a bit longer down the, the road than he was, but he's still not on the grass yet with us. Um, and that's going to be a little bit of a while, and Jimmy's the same, but they are making progress. There you go. It'll be good to have those two back as well. Everton now starting to get a healthy squad again. It'll give the manager some difficult decisions to make as to who is actually in the match day squad and who is left off the bench. It'll be the first time, really, once those two are back, if everyone else stays fit, of course, it'll be the first time he's been able to do it all season. So uh, at least Everton should be having a much stronger bench over the, f uh, the next coming weeks. But getting those two back will really help as well. Uh, one player who has been playing, but there is uncertainty about his Everton future, is forward Dominic Calvert-Lewin. His contract is due to end in June. He's been offered a new contract for some time now, which he's refused to sign. Uh, there was talk he'd leave for Newcastle United in August, but it didn't happen. Calvert-Lewin stayed and has continued to lead the line for Sean Dyches. And the manager was asked about the contract situation and whether or not he felt that was affecting Calvert-Lewin's play. This is what he had to say. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, th th there's always headlines around his contract situation. We all keep talking about takeovers pending. There are a lot of rumours, reports, claims at the moment about Which one's that. Who's, who's about about takeovers? Who, who, who? You, I know you're not on social media. You go on there. There's a lot of claims about well, takeovers. No, not big claims on social media yes, about what's happening. I'm very surprised. <laughs> My phone keeps going about them, none of which are true. But I just wondered, with that situation, if it is coming to a close, and the fact that Dominic is out of contract at the end of this season. Can those talks be looked at? Is he asking for those talks? What is the situation with that? The situation is an ongoing one, like with most players, where we'll have to wait and see. Um, he's got his you know, things to think about. The club have, obviously, possibly, and their ownership still not there yet. We're waiting to see. Um, that might play its part. So all them things have to combine. Um, he's working hard. We want him to continue working hard. That, that bit's a given, or it should be. Um, you know, I'm part of a competitive group, so you know, I've been down this road many times. You know, with players, and, and I'm sure the club have as well. So we'll manage it the best we can and see what comes next. There you go. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, Dom can start scoring some goals at least, and um, we'll see what happens moving forward. Whether or not the takeover, which is due to be completed next week, whether that changes anything, I'm not sure. Whether Dominic Calvert-Lewin is sold in January if a bid high enough comes in or whether he'll simply see his contract out and move on to pastures new. We'll have to wait and see on that. But what he could do with doing is putting the ball in the net for us and getting us some vital points uh, as we move forward. The proposed date for the final Merseyside derby is apparently Tuesday the 11th of February. Uh, the last Merseyside derby to take place at Goodison Park in the Premier League was cancelled last week due to Storm Dara. And that Tuesday, the 11th, is now the date that has been penciled in. It will need to be ratified by UEFA. They don't like domestic games taking place on the same night as a European competition. There is playoff games due to take place that night. But obviously Liverpool in particular have got a congested fixture um, calendar. 
they're in obviously they're still in the uh, the league cup they're through in the champions league as well the fa cup will began then as well so they've got you know a lot of games to pack in and this is an opportunity to play this game on that date so we do need uefa to clarify that um, but it could well be taking place at goodison park on tuesday the 11th of february and finally, Everton's under-18 side were in action at Goodison Park last night in the FA Youth Cup. They beat Nottingham Forest 7-0 at Goodison Park. Harrison Armstrong, who has played for the Everton's first team this season, scored a hat-trick and also registered three assists for Leighton Baines' as men. A tremendous performance from Armstrong, uh, who obviously Sean Dyche has praised lately, um, trained with the first team every day, but went, stepped back into the under-18s and put in a tremendous performance there scoring three and creating three to get Everton into the next round of the FA Youth Cup. So well done to Harrison. Make sure you check out the uh, uh, Arsenal-Everton match preview with me and Ped ahead of that game. Like, subscribe, do all that. See you later.